Screech by Terran MCT Read by Oakshadow 5 Chapter 25 So, for the matchups in the final, Shota started, talking to his fellow teachers. I want your honest opinion on if you think these will work out or not. As the rest nodded, Shota continued. Samantha's, I'm putting Kirishima and Sato with you. They both have limits on what they are able to do, and they don't typically try to think outside of their raw power. I want to see them try to get past an objective that does not have a time limit to it. Samantha's nodded his understanding. I'll leave them an opening to get through, but if they simply try to get through the walls, they'll fail. I'll be going up against Yao Rosa and Todoroki. Shota started, but was interrupted by Midnight. Really? I would have thought you'd pick Midoriya. Shota snorted out to laugh, much to the amusement of the rest. I've been trying to catch that kid for three years before I realized how young he was. Trust me, if he doesn't want you to find him, you won't find him. If he wants to end a fight quickly, you won't even know he's there before you're down. Shota looked at his list of matches. I actually have him slated to go up against All Might. I don't know if any of the rest of us even stand a chance against him. All Might rubbed the back of his neck nervously. Ah, about that. Chiyo's son has actually restricted my activities for the next few weeks. She is stating that unless there is an emergency, I'm not to do anything more stressful than helping a cat out of a tree. I'm going to have to back out of the finals. Shota stared at him for a moment before shrugging. Well, I don't really blame you there. I don't want to be on a bad side either. Shota moved that page out of the stack. Anyways, your Rosa and Todoroki were placed against me. No, hold on. We're still talking about Midoriya. Snap interrupted this time. If he's not going to be up against All Might, who will he be up against? Shota stared at him deadpan. Nezu is out. Izuku is an owl. He's a sky predator who specializes in silent ambush attacks. And even if he wasn't, he could fly to the exit. Power loader, same issue. Izuku isn't tethered to the ground. Majima can't touch him. He'll just flap his wings a few times and blow them scars away. He's got imitation in his ears that protect him from loud noises, so Zashi's almost used to against him. He's fast enough to avoid 13's black hole. He won't hold back a screech against ectoplasm's clones. And if you shoot my son, Snipe, you deal with me. The entire staff was silent for a few moments as they all processed that. Ectoplasm was the one to finally break the silence. Then who's he going to go up against? The students all stood in front of the teachers, decked out in their costumes and ready to take their practicals. Izuka kept bobbing his head back and forth, side to side, getting a few curious gazes, before Denki finally poked him. What are you doing? He whispered. They don't add up, he muttered distractedly. What doesn't add up? Denki questioned. Heartbeats to people, 18 students, 7 teachers, that should be 25 heartbeats. I'm counting 26. Izuka said bobbed again. Where's the extra one coming from? That's the cutest thing I think he's ever done. Hitoshi was to Shoto, his phone out recording Izuku's head movements. I'm totally sending this video to dad. Izuku finally let out an excited chirp and stopped his head bobbing. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. He only grinned when everyone looked at him questioningly. Shoto stepped up to address the students. Today is the day of the practical portion of the final. I'm assuming some of you have managed to figure out what the final consists of, right? We're, We're fighting, fighting robots? robots? Ashido and Sarah called out together. Run! Nezu popped up out of Shota's capture scarf and showed off his favorite evil grin. Oh, that's where the extra person was? Denki looked to Izuku, receiving a confirmation nod. Well, in past years, students have fought robots in the finals. We've decided that with all of the incidents that the class have come across this year, we want to prepare you further for the future. This year, you'll be facing against the teachers. Denki and Itoshi quietly cursed at this and prayed they wouldn't be up against anyone too difficult. The matches will be as such, Shoda continued. Kirishima and Sato against Cementos, Yarosa and Todoroki against me, Asui and Tokoyami against Ectoplasm, Hagakuri and Shoji against Snipe, Sero and Shinzo against Midnight, Uraka and Aoyama against Thirteen, Jiro and Koda against Present Mike, and Ojiro, Kaminari, and Ashido against Nezu. Shota looked up from his list at the students. Any questions? Izuku hesitantly raised his hand. You, uh, you didn't say who I was going to be up against? Shota stared at Izuku and switched his lips into a smirk. No, no, I did not. Nezu giggled at him and exclaimed, Midoriya passes by default? As one, the entire class erupted into shots of disbelief, while Izuku just looked at them and blinked. Why? 
Izuka asked when the noise calmed down. Snape was the one to reply this time. Realistically, I'm probably the one up here that can stand up to you in a fight, but that's only if I spot you first, and the erasers already threatened my kneecaps if I actually shoot you. Izuka blushed bright red. I'm not... I'm not that good. Am I? Nezu cackled. Shudo was at the dining room table, grading the finals for his law and ethics classes, while Hisashi was sitting on the couch in the family room, grading the English finals. Izuka had managed to stick himself to Hisashi's side after watching his match against Koda and Jiro. Izuku saw that Hisashi was in the middle of a panic attack and had made it his mission to be his papa's emotional support bird. Izuku knew that Hisashi was mostly okay now, but since he hadn't loosened his grip on Izuku, he decided that he was still going to stick to him. He heard Hisashi's head in irritation, so he hooted inquisitively. I swear, Izu, some of these kids could eat a can of alphabet soup and should out better English than this. Read this and tell me how this is a third-year student. Izuku took the paper and glanced it over. Yikes, that was the wrong there, our, verb tense, and I spelled computer wrong. What did I do to deserve students like this? Hisashi complained. Izuku snickered quietly at that. You should hear what Shota's muttering over there about his second years. Oh yeah, Hisashi snorted. Probably about how they keep confusing the years on a few of the laws. He did on a few, yeah, but he's currently rethinking his life choices since one of his students apparently thinks murder is legal, so long as the victim is over the age of consent. Izuku shrugged as Hisashi sputtered and looked over to Shota, who was indeed staring at the paper in his hands with a look of mild horror. Oh, my poor Shota, I think he needs a hug. Go, give him a hug. Izuku giggled but didn't move, instead snuggling further into Hisashi's side. Nope, I'm comfy here. Fair enough. Hisashi chuckled and squeezed Izuku tighter for a moment. Izuku hadn't gotten up to hug Shota because Hisashi's grip on him still hadn't loosened. He was putting on a front about having completely gotten over the events of the day, but he still hadn't. As Hisashi focused on his next student's final, Izuku let his eyes drift closed. He was about to attempt a nap when he heard Toshi in his room on the phone with Shoto. Izuku chirped quietly in annoyance, wishing he had music or something to distract him from the conversation. I still can't believe Sarah just dashed into that fight like that. I told him that Auntie Nam was a lot better of a fighter than she portrayed herself as, but no, he felt that he could take her. He Toshi was complaining to Shoto. Shoto hummed an amusement. She does give off a very convincing aura of ineffectiveness. Most people do underestimate her. Yeah, and that's when she strikes. I tried to explain that to Sarah, but the boy didn't even close his helmet for the exam, so when she unleashed her gas on us, he went down hard. Toshi said in annoyance, I'm just glad Dad was able to convince me to get my personal card situated with an emergency gas mask. I don't even want to talk about your dad right now. Shudo ground. I nearly failed my practical against him. He Toshi laughed quietly. I told you that you rely on your quirk too much, babe. Izuku shook his head a little and sat up. I'll be right back, Papa. I'm going to get some headphones. Hisashi patted his head for a moment and kissed his forehead. Okay, could you grab a water for me on your way back? Sure. 4 extras. There were 4 extras who just wouldn't leave him the fuck alone. He was trying to be patient, but they couldn't just leave it alone. They knew how he'd react, and they just had to push all of his buttons until he snapped. They just had to make him snap, didn't they? Fine. If they want him to snap, then Baku go fucking Katsuki will show them just how far he'll snap. Hotaru Aika, Kurumu Nashi Nene, Hoshino Hiaya, and Harada Keichi were all now in the hospital. Principal Nishikawa Yoshiro was holding a meeting with Katsuki and his parents, and Katsuki was glaring at the principal. It was eerily similar to the meeting at the beginning of the year when his parents were called in to speak with Principal Nezu. Fuck, he was about to be expelled again, wasn't he? The hag looked at the principal and with a sigh of defeat asked, What has my brat done this time? What the fuck, hag? I didn't do anything! Katsuki yelled. They were talking shit, so I put them back in their place! Katsuki, Principal Nishikawa said. They weren't talking to or about you. Yes, the fuck they were! They were talking about UA right in front of me! They were purposely taunting me! The students were all third-year students, and they were talking about one of their cousins from the business course. Principal Nishikawa exclaimed. There are hundreds of students who attend UA, and not everyone in the school knows that you were once a student from there. Tch! Katsuki just aimed a glare at the wall. Principal Nishikawa turned his attention back to the hag. The four students are currently in the hospital. 
and two of them are in medically induced coma to help with their recovery. I am sorry, but I cannot allow your son to remain in the school. This is the second time he has sent students to the hospital. The hag hung her head and sighed deeply. I understand, Principal. What the fuck? Katsuki yelled. This isn't even the first time I sent people to the hospital. I sent people to the hospital dozens of times back in middle school, and no one ever gave a shit. Why do you all of a sudden care? Principal Nishikawa stared at him wide-eyed. This isn't the first time you've acted like this, and you are still accepted into UA? Yeah, because in the best there is, Katsuki snarled at the principal. Why wouldn't they accept me? I'm sorry, Katsuki, but your former schools have failed you. They should have attempted to correct this behavior long ago, before you got to this point. Your former schools have failed you. Those words kept repeating on loop in Katsuki's head. What did that mean? His former schools failed him. How? By not stopping him from attacking others, including Deku? Well, not all of those times were while he was at school. A few heroes had even seen him and laughed at his displays. Even random other adults would praise him when he would beat up Deku. Your former schools have failed you. No, they didn't. Katsuki glared at the quirk cancelling cuff his parents made him wear while at home. No one failed him. Katsuki wasn't a failure. Katsuki pulled out a paper clip and started to pick at the lock on the cuff. He'd show everyone that he wasn't a failure. What the heck is happening with Bakugo? No, he's turning villain. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed chapter 25 of Screech, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!